Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Now today I'm back with another video on the Epson EcoTank 3850 printer, showing you guys how to scan and copy with this printer, a video requested by many of you. Now if you did just get this printer here, and you don't know how to set it up, I've done a full step-by-step -step guide showing you guys how to set up this printer, and you can find that video coming up at the top right, also linked in the description below. If you haven't done that yet, head over to that video and then come back here. So if your printer is all set up, we are ready to go. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is how to make a copy of some items here. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on your printer. The printer is now on, you're gonna see the screen light up here. Now you're gonna grab whatever paper or you know document that you do want to copy. So I just have a little manual here. So I'm just gonna copy the inside pages. So I already have a piece of paper in here, which is just some scribbles. <laughs> so I will, you know what, actually I'll show you guys that first, why not? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your paper and you're gonna line it up to the little arrow in this corner. If I was using this one, I'm gonna line it up. I'll show you guys how to copy both of them. So there's that. So once it's lined up, I'm just gonna close it. And then you're gonna come down here. So now you're gonna use the little touchpad here and you're gonna press okay to the copy. All right, so now you're gonna choose your options here. Now you're just gonna use this to select everything once again because this is not touch screen. So you can choose if you're gonna be printing in black and white or color, I'm printing in black and white. You can choose if you want it double-sided. I'm gonna do one-sided first and I'll show you guys the double-sided next. I'm just gonna leave that as one-sided for now. I'm gonna go back. You can choose how many copies you want right over here. So just use your arrows to go there. Once again, you can choose as many copies from one to 99. I'm just gonna do one copy. And the last thing is right down here. So this is like the darkness that you want it to be copied as. If you want it to be copied as is, leave it in the middle there with a zero. If you want it to be lighter or darker, you can go ahead and use the plus and the minus button to change that, but I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Once you are done that, you are going to click on this button right here. I'm gonna pull out the little tray. So I'm gonna click the copy button. All right, so here is my copy and the original. So it copies really well. This is the copy once again, the original, basically identical. And if you guys are finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So now we're gonna do a double-sided. I'm gonna use this little manual that I was showing you guys before. So same thing, you're just gonna go ahead, line it up to the corner here, close it, and then you're gonna come right back down here. So the only difference I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna change this to two-sided, and then you can choose the orientation. Now they only give you the option to choose really the orientation if you're doing it two-sided. So I'm just gonna leave mine as landscape. I'm just gonna leave it at left edge, or you can change it if you want to do that. Once you are done, click done, and now we're gonna do the exact same thing and press the copy button here. You can see right now, it says on screen, place page two on scanner glass and start scanning. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip it over to do the other side, and then I'm gonna close it. And now I'm going to click start scanning. and it is scanning the second page or the other side of the paper. That is how you double-sided copy. So we have the one side here and then we have the other side over here. And once again, here is the copy compared to the original. Same thing on this side. 
You can definitely see like the creases, but it does a pretty good job in my opinion. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to scan something and get that image onto your computer. I'm also gonna show you how to do it on your phone. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to connect the printer to your computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in this cord to my computer here. So once it is plugged into your computer, go ahead and take whatever document that you wanna scan and that you wanna get onto your computer. So once again, I'm just gonna use this thing here you can use whatever you want. I'm just gonna add this little thing here because it's in color, just to show you guys an example of some color. I'm just gonna put that right beside it and close it. All right, so if you do not have the scanning software on your computer, you do need to download that first before you can get the you know images to scan directly into your computer from the printer. So if you don't have this installed on your computer yet, just use the link in the description to install the Epson Smart Scan feature. So we're gonna click on search. Enter the product name. This is the ET3850. Comes up right here. We're gonna click on that. So now we're gonna choose an operating system. My operating system is the Windows 10 64 bit. If you do not know what your operating system is, you can click on for a PC, like a Windows computer. You can go into the help section and click on about PC and pull that up and then you're gonna find that your system type right here. Mine says 64-bit operating system. If you have a MacBook, open up the settings, then type in about in the search bar, and then you're gonna do the same thing there, and you're gonna see what type of version your operating system is for the MacBook. So once you get here, they're gonna show you something recommended. Just head on to drivers, and you're going to install the scanner driver at Epson Scan 2 Utility. So this thing right here, I'm gonna download that, Gonna open it, gonna click yes. And now we're just gonna follow the prompts, you know. Might take a couple of minutes. Read through the terms and conditions if you want to. I'm not your boss, so do what you wanna do. <laughs> I know no one really reads that stuff. Now we're gonna wait for it to install. So I'm just gonna skip forward in this section because you guys don't want to wait a few minutes for me to wait for this thing to load and install. Once you're done, just click on finish. I'm just going to click on close because I really don't care about that. So now I'm going to open up the Epson scan. This is connected to the printer, so we are ready to go. Just select the printer, it should show up here. You can go ahead and you can click OK. So now we're going to come over to the printer, click on scan, click OK. I'm gonna click on OK for computer. It's gonna tell you to download that stuff, which we did. So you can dismiss that. I'm gonna say don't show again because we already did that. I don't need to see that again. So the next thing is you're gonna click on USB connection. So now we're gonna click on this little diamond and we're just waiting for it to scan. It's gonna show a preview on the computer as well. All right, so the scan is complete. So coming over to our computer, we can see our copy here. So we can see the little um, you know, manual that was there as well as the other page. You can zoom in if you want to, zoom out, just to double check if everything's good. You can go ahead and crop it, which I'm gonna do because there's a lot of excess space there. So I'm just gonna leave it here, press okay. It's warning you if you're cropping it, you can't go back and uncrop it. So I'm gonna click yes. So. Here is the document that I had. If it was good when you scanned it, you don't need to crop it, then you can just ignore that step. Just showing that in case anybody wants to do that. You can also go ahead and you can rotate the page. And this is the preview, this is what it's gonna look like. So click on next, and you can go ahead and you could save it. You can attach it to an email, send it to your Google Drive, and more options. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. You can just go ahead and name it. I'm gonna name it demo. And then you can choose the type of file you wanna save it as, whether it's a PDF, JPEG, or other. I'm gonna leave it as a PDF. And you can just put it to whatever folder you can browse. So I'm just gonna put it to my downloads. But you can send it to whatever folder you want there. Click on save. And it is now in my downloads folder. And you could see that it did get all of the detail there and it's done really well. So here is the file. Now, if you have other pages to scan from this point, you can just go ahead and you can just, you know, keep scanning pages. Just follow that same process. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to scan documents to your phone. So you're gonna need to install the Epson Smart Panel app that looks like this. 
All right, so once the app is installed on your phone, you're just gonna open it up and then we're gonna connect the app so you can scan and you can even wireless print. Um, I didn't show you guys how to wireless connect to your phone in my last video, so this is you know an option now. So once it's done, I'm just gonna click agree. You can read through all the privacy statements if you want to. So it says you have to share your location and then click next, 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 allow, and it's searching for products. On the phone here, you can choose to set up a new product. You can connect a product that's already on the Wi-Fi, add a new Wi-Fi connection, connect via IP address. So my printer is already connected to my Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna click on connect to a printer already on Wi-Fi. And then I'm gonna click on the printer. So I have a, two options here, but I'm gonna click on the ET3850. And then it says right here, connection is requested from my smartphone, which is Abby Z Flip 5. I'm gonna click approve. It has been connected. So on my phone, I'm gonna click on okay. Now we can go ahead. It's asking you about your home screen, if you want cards or if you want tiles. I'm gonna go with the tiles. I just like it. I find it easier to find things, but you can choose the other option if you'd like. So at the bottom here, I'm gonna click on tiles. So it does show the printer's ink levels, which are super high for mine, which is awesome. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click scan. And then you can choose what you wanna do. So I'm gonna choose color. So for the resolution, I'm gonna actually change that to standard, but you can change it to high or leave it at low. Okay, so everything else I'm gonna leave as is. So now I'm just gonna click on start. And on the printer, it does say scanning the original. I do find that the scanning process is definitely slower than the printing. All right, so basically the exact same thing as the computer. We see a preview image on the phone and I'm gonna go ahead and crop that, but if you don't wanna crop it, leave it as is. But for me, there's a lot of wasted space there, so I'm just cropping it. So this is what it looks like all cropped in, very clear, looks great. So from here, I'm just gonna click on next. But if you wanted to scan something else, this is your chance to scan another page. Switch out your pages and then keep going. So once you scan all your pages, click next. And then it's gonna give you a file name once again. You can name it whatever you want. And for location, I'm gonna click on documents and use that folder. Allow and save. And the file is now saved and it's asking you if you wanna go back to the home screen, I'm gonna click on yes. Now, if you did want to make a copy using your phone, same thing we did before, you're gonna load whatever you wanna load inside of the printer. And you can use your phone basically as a little remote to control it and you can click on copy. If you're copying an ID card, you can do that. If you're copying, if you want no borders, whatever, I'm just gonna click on a regular copy. The exact same things that we had, the same options there is on your phone. And honestly, I really like the layout of the phone. It's just really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do one-sided. I'm gonna keep the density the same, letter, everything. I'm just gonna leave it as is, but change whatever you want. The only thing is, this time doing color instead of black and white. I'm gonna click on the little diamond to start it. It did print the pages. This one did get a little bit crooked when I opened it up. <laughs> it did print that and it did it really well. Now, if you guys are looking to pick up the Epson EcoTank E3850 here, I've gone and left a link down in the description below for you to use. If you were able to successfully copy, scan, whatever you wanted to do, what you came to this video to see, then please go ahead and smash that like button for me if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And while you're there, you might as well consider subscribing, help the channel grow. I do drop in new videos every week. Other than that, I just want to do a quick update on this printer. I've had this printer for months now. Here is my ink. I have not topped it up. I have not replaced it. And the ink levels are awesome. Like the black has started going down a bit and then you can see the colors um, a little bit there. So this printer is really, really good on ink. Um, that is the number one reason that we did pick it up. We wanted to be able to 
print lots of pages and it can do that. So far I printed probably around like 2,500 pages and the ink still like, it's hardly made a dent. So honestly, fantastic, I love that. And that I think is the biggest reason to spend the money on this printer. I know it's expensive, but if you are gonna be printing high volumes of paper, honestly, in my opinion, it's worth it. And if there's anything I missed today that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. I do read all the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.